All right, boys and girls, in this video, we're going to practice our sight words and the words that follow our double vowel consonant vowel pattern. Let's start with the sight words first. Let's do the word alone. 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 I practice my instrument all alone in my room. Alone. It should look like this. A o own. We have got a magic E that jumps over the consonant, taps on the vowel, and says, say your name. So the O says O in alone. Go ahead and erase. And let's try the word water. Water. I need a drink of water. It should look like this. What? Ah. This is not a magic E because the R is taking control of this word. So the A is not saying its name. It's saying an ah sound. Water. Let's float away on the water. Go ahead and erase. Let's try the word prize. Prize. My art drawing won a prize. Prize. It should look like this. Per, per, I, z. Here is another place where we have a magic E. The magic E jumps over the consonant, taps on the I, and says, say your name. So the I says I in prize. Prize. Go ahead and erase. The last sight word we have this week is caught. Caught. I caught an illness last week and missed a day of school. Caught. This is a tricky one. It should look like this. We have a hard sounding C and two letters that come together to make the aw sound. Do you know what they are? A and U say aw. And then this is the worst part of all. We've got two letters that we don't even hear at all. I bet you know the last letter though. T -t -t -t. Caught. We don't hear the G and the H, and we have a strange AU combination that says aw. Caught. Keep practicing that one. That's a really tricky one. Let's go ahead and move into the words that do fit our sort, our double vowel consonant vowel words. Let's do the word painted. Painted. The Native American painted the sunset with his paintbrush. Painted. It should look like this. Huh. Here's where our double vowel comes in. A. I bet you heard that one, but probably not this I. Mm. T. Ed. Painted. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, so we hear the A, but not the I. But don't forget that they're buddies, and they are together in this word. And of course, if it's something you did in the past, we add that ED. Painted. Go ahead and erase. Let's do the word needed. Needed. I really needed a snack. Needed. It should look like this. We've got our consonant, our double vowel. This one's easy. They're the same. Need. And again, if it's something that happened in the past, we add our ed ending. Needed. Not so tricky. Our base word is need, and we just add that ending. Good job. Go ahead and erase. Let's do another one that has a double double vowel that's the same. Greeted. Greeted. I greeted hope during morning meeting. Greeted. It should look like this. We've got two consonants at the beginning. Grr. Eat. Ed. Happened in the past. It happened this morning. We add our ed ending. That should be red for a consonant, Mrs. Danville. Our base word greet has that double vowel right there, that double e. Go ahead and erase. Let's do the word cleaned. Cleaned. On Monday morning, we cleaned out our desks for morning work. Cleaned. It should look like this. Makes a hard sound in this word. Pull. E. Here's the part you probably didn't hear. It's that tricky A. 
clean. There's our base word, and we add our ed ending. Cleaned. Remember when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, so you don't hear the a in cleaned. Here's our base word, we add that ed. Go ahead and erase. One more word, you're almost done. Let's do the word floated. Floated, I floated downstream. Floated. It should look like this. Oh. Oh. I bet the next sound that you hear is the t, but there's a silent a that sneaks in there. Floated. It happened in the past, so we add that ed ending when two vowels go walking. The first one does the talking, so we don't hear the a. But you can remember it has the word oat in it. Like you might eat oatmeal for breakfast. If you are practicing your words at home, you are making your teacher very happy.